Hi everyone and welcome to today's video session. My name is Thomas and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. Our online video sessions are designed to help you improve a certain aspect of one of the four key competences for your IELTS exam. In this case, speaking and listening. Today, we'll be continuing with our series of idioms that can be used in the IELTS speaking test. We will learn a selection of idioms pertaining to employment and jobs. To learn the ropes. To get acquainted with a job or a field of endeavour. To be trained. During the internship, we had almost two months to learn the ropes before taking on the job as new part-time staff. To get the sack or to be sacked. To be fired or made unemployed. Due to the impact of COVID-19, many employees got the sack because almost all companies suffered from serious financial losses. Hanging by a thread, in great danger of elimination or failure. After the operation on his leg, his playing career seemed to be hanging by a thread. However, he recovered really quickly and has been banging them in for fun this season. To burn the candle at both ends. To work very long hours. To prepare for the new product launch, all of the staff have to burn the candle at both ends to ensure the best results for the company. Rank and file. The normal members of an organisation. Almost all of the leaders have approved the new policies, but the rank and file showed their disapproval at the yearly whole company meeting. Pink slip. A layoff, a notice or loss of a job, typically because of finances. Because she's so busy with her part-time work at the university, she sometimes prioritises her secondary part-time job. Some people would be worried about being given their pink slip, but I guess these people don't know my sister very well. Out of work. This means unemployed. During the COVID-19 pandemic, she was out of work and had to take care of two children, so she found it really difficult to make ends meet. I think she's desperate for anything, even a zero hours contract. To move up in the world, to upgrade one's social, political and or financial position in life, to become more successful. I couldn't get over how much John had moved up in the world after I went such a long time without seeing him. He drives a high-end luxury car and owns a villa by the lake. I'd love to have that lifestyle. To give someone the old heave ho, to eliminate someone from a group or a team. After a trial period, Sam showed a lot of unprofessional attributes. So the group's leader decided to give him the old heave ho. All in a day's work. That's what I'm here for. Although I have accomplished something, it's part of what I was expected to do. She's working as a director's assistant. So preparing documents and taking care of her schedule is all in a day's work. Finally, I want to wrap things up for you by quickly checking all of the idioms that we learned today. To learn the ropes, to be trained. To get the sack or be sacked, to be made unemployed. Hanging by a thread, in great danger of elimination or failure. To burn the candle at both ends, to work very long hours. Rank and file, the normal members of an organisation. Pink slip, a layoff notice. Out of work, unemployed move up in the world to become more successful, to give someone the old heave ho, to exclude someone from a group or a team. All in a day's work, the things that one is expected to do in one jobs each day. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, then please click on the link below. Our IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs and to provide you with personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe. And please do not forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of my latest video uploads. Once again, I've been Thomas from Lango Learning System and hopefully I'll see you for the next video. Bye.